Hi, I'm Kay, and today I will be sharing with you how I organize my life, projects, and ideas, and so much more in the app Notion. Thank you so much, Notion, for sponsoring this video. I'm a designer and content creator, and I'll be giving you a tour of my Notion workspaces and sharing what has worked best for me in regards to my setup in the Notion app. I've been using Notion for over two years now for a lot of different things, and what's great about Notion is that as my work has evolved, so has my workspaces. From keeping track of class assignments when I was in college, to task and product management and design projects, to upkeeping my productivity on personal side projects and to-dos. On the self-employment side, Notion has been a great task and product management tool and to document the growth of the K Digital Studio brand. And as a YouTuber, it has also been extremely helpful when organizing content ideas, video releases, and logistics. So let me introduce you to my Notion dashboards and the setup that has worked best for me and the different roles I take on. So I've created different workspaces or hubs in Notion, which are basically different places to organize my thoughts. Starting my own brand or business means that it can be difficult to create boundaries between work and personal life, so my Notion workspaces help with this. And I like to have them all visible under one page so I can easily click into each dashboard depending on if I need to manage my personal life or my work life. Many of the templates or general setup of my Notion is a big melting pot of a ton of other templates from creators who have so kindly shared their Notion templates as well, but I've adapted them or entirely redid the aesthetic or flow of those templates to fit my own needs. So I encourage you to stay until the end of the video because I will share with you the same templates that I've created and am sharing with you. So I like to have a general view of my dashboard once I enter into Notion. It's nice having a quick glance of the calendar and I add main events underneath to help me get a sense of what's coming up before I dive further into my work life or personal development. Over here on the right hand side, I've set up an integration into Notion with the app Boomerang. I originally got the idea from Michelle B, but I believe she uses a different app. But anyhow, I have this shortcut set up on my phone that I can click and quickly write out my ideas or anything that I need. And I'll add into this inbox section here in my Notion. And then I can sort it later where it belongs in my Notion dashboards. It's so helpful to have that to capture my ideas and a lot of the ideas I get are for digital products. So it's nice to quickly capture that from my phone when I'm out and about and then move that into the product management system that I have set up in Notion 4K Digital Studio. If you're interested in setting up something similar for yourself, I'll link a tutorial you can follow in the description. Despite having everything referenced here in my life hub, I see my notion as being broken up into four main ways. Planning, personal growth and development, content creation and business management, and then as my knowledge or reference database. So I will introduce you to how I use notion for each of these four main parts of my life. For planning, I like being able to have an overview and a focused view of the month. So in Notion, I've created a page for each month that allows me to make note of priorities and goals, as well as document an overview of each of the weeks. So this is where my personal life and my work life are actually planned together. So I plan out what content might be released and when, and then down in these blocks, I break it down even further to the tasks that need to be accomplished each day. And of course, with all of my templates, I've customized the interface to fit my aesthetic. With each page in Notion, you can customize the icons and the cover pages. So I've designed these icons and covers to use across all of my pages. And I will share a bit later in the video how you can access these same icons and covers that I've created. So for personal growth and development, I've created a travel hub. Traveling is an important part of the human experience and can help you grow in many different ways. So it's important for me to find and build out a productive space for it in Notion. 
This was a setup that I've adapted from a user on Reddit. I highly recommend checking out the Notion subreddit for templates like this. If I'm able to backtrack and find the user, I'll link them in the description below, but I've had these templates for so long and have made some changes. But this is a great place for me to document the places that I want to travel, and clicking into each of these pages allows me to build out even more info about each trip. Things I want to see or eat, accommodations, and transportation. And once I am able to travel again, it will serve as something I can reference from my past travels. Under that same category, Notion is great for meal planning and workouts, and I've loved using it for also tracking what books I want to read or have already read, as well as a spot for me to take notes on any nonfiction reads. So for content creation and business management, this is what the space looks like for K Digital Studio. The space I use the most is my content map, and this is where I build out content for the YouTube channel as well as Reels and TikToks. I can get a quick overview of upcoming deadlines for video releases and easily access scripts or B-roll that needs to be filmed for a particular video. It helps me stay on top of my YouTube channel and it's helpful having both a table and calendar view for this. So I can see upcoming content at a glance. Another thing I really love about Notion is that you can create templates for things. So it's really helpful to be able to just click into the template and have some consistency in the way that I plan things out. And it helps me plan multiple videos at once. I have a very similar setup as well for the products I am designing and working on. Again, for the similar reasons of being able to capture all of my ideas and work on multiple projects at once. And then lastly, I use Notion as my personal knowledge or a reference database. So I've created quite a number of lists or documentations in my routines, and this helps me maintain consistency and stay on track. For example, I've documented my weekly reset routine with a simple checklist style that reminds me of the things that should be done with every reset. Similarly, I've documented my check-in and check-out list, which is essentially my morning and evening routines. In my when did I last list, I've created a table where I can track when things were last completed and that I can reference when they need to be completed next. I wanted to quickly show you how to use the widgets from Notion as well. You can use them on your phone or iPad. And I have mine set up to where I can quickly access my most used pages through the widget on my iPad home screen or in the today view on my iPhone. So to add a widget, you'll tap and hold anywhere on your home screen and then select the plus icon in the top right hand corner and just search for the Notion widget. If your Notion widget does not appear but you have the app installed on your iPad or on your iPhone, make sure you have the latest version of Notion installed and updated and then restart your phone or iPad. From here, you can select the widget you want to use. So they have widgets for specific pages as well as your favorite Notion pages or your most recently opened pages. Personally, I like the large widget for my favorite Notion pages on my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. So that's the one that I will select. You can mark your pages in Notion as a favorite by heading inside your Notion workspaces, clicking the three dots in the upper right hand corner and then selecting add to favorites. And if you're using the favorites widget from Notion, you'll see your pages added there. So that wraps up my Notion tour. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. In my description, I've included a link to my shared Notion hub where I'll include some of the templates that I showed in today's video, as well as the icons, cover photos, and mini calendars that I've designed. I update the shared Notion hub often, so be sure to bookmark it and check back often for free downloads and updates. So I hope these templates and free downloads help you get started with Notion and helps you not only increase your productivity, but improve your peace of mind and provide some mental clarity for you as well. Thanks again, Notion, for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out Notion using the link in the description as well as my shared hub for the templates and free downloads.